Let's make some wax melts using a Presto pot. We're going to need some newspaper to cover our surface, our working area. We're going to need some molds and some something to stir it with, some candle dye. I use glitter, need a fragrance oil, a heat gun, paper towels, our pour pot, and we're also going to need a digital scale and a digital thermometer. So I set my Presto pot up on about 200 and I'm going to add a little bit more wax because I'm going to make, be making a few batches. And I let it all melt down. And the temperature gets to about 195 degrees. So the wax that I use is the KY Parasoy Tart and Votive Blend Wax from Rustic Essentials. And you're not supposed to add your fragrance in until about 165 degrees. So what's going to happen is when we actually dip the wax out and put it in our pour pot, it's going to be a little warmer than we need it to be. But when we put in the candle dye, it, believe it or not, a couple of drops will bring that wax down, the uh, temperature of the wax down, so that we're able to add our fragrance oil in. And the glitter that I use, it's also from Rustic Essentials. You don't have to use that. I just wanted a little something extra. Uh, but I didn't want to spend a lot of time on making these wax melts. Uh, I can't spend forever making a batch of wax melts because I sell them and I need to, I need to make a little bit more money than what I could if I spent a lot of time on them. And you always want to stir the fragrance into your wax for two minutes, which is what I do. And all of my wax melts I make using these molds here. I don't use the clamshells. I think these stand out a little better. I just, I like them better. And cleanup is easy. You just take your heat gun and you melt the wax down that's inside your pour pot. What's left, you take a paper towel and you wipe it out and you are good to go. Ready for round two. Now, I also, I used to make these on the stove. I would just, you know, measure the amount of wax out into my pour pot and melt it on low for each batch that I was making. And um, since I've started using the Presto pot, I will never go back to doing them on the stove again. Never, this is so much easier. Now, my Presto pot did not come with a spout on it. I don't know if you can see it there or not. My husband was nice enough to add that for me. And uh, depending on how I have my, my uh, setup going, determines whether I'm gonna use that spout or if I'm just gonna dip it out. Either way is so much easier. Um, it's, it saves so much time. And I have tried other kinds of wax. The, the wax that I get from Rustic Essentials, in my opinion, is the best that's out there. I have way better results with this wax. And the um, the recommended fragrance load is up to 10%, so it'd be like 1.6 ounces per pound of wax. Now, I have found that this particular wax will hold <coughs> quite a bit more than what they recommend, but you'll have to mess around with it and, and see what results you get depending on the fragrance oil that you use. And these that I'm making here are pomegranate, and oh my gosh, they smell so good. And I had tried my best to find a video or some information on how to cure wax melts. The only thing I could find was you should let them cure for one to two weeks. Well, that's fine, but how? And uh, so just through trial and error, I've purchased these throwaway little pans. I cover them with aluminum foil. I put my wax melts in. I label them and date them. And then I let them set in those for one to two weeks. And it seems to be working just fine. And I was trying out some new scents here. So I have, that's the pomegranate, 
and we have Georgia peach, honeysuckle, and lilac. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you've enjoyed the video or it helped you out, please leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe. See you later.